All right. Another uh, Swinglish word, a Swedish word that has influenced the English language. Yeah. Window. Yeah, window. Mm. It doesn't sound very Swedish. No, but it comes from vindöga. Yeah. The eye of the wind. Maybe you're sitting at a Windows computer right now. Yeah. Every time you sit there, you think of Sweden. And the interesting thing is, uh, vindöga comes from when they had long houses and they only they didn't have windows in those, but they had an opening in the sides of the ceiling, mm. uh, so the wind could bring out the smoke. Yeah, they didn't have a chimney. Yeah. The old Viking longhouses. Yeah, they didn't have a chimney, so you had, you had to, the smoke had to come out sometimes because you had a big fire in the middle. Yeah, the Vikings were kind of smart because having a chimney is like a hole in the roof. That That's was, crazy. Uh, it's just like getting rain down. So it was a chimney function, and it's called wind, the wind eye, where the wind comes in and goes out. Uh, unfortunately, in Sweden, we, now, we have left that word for the German word fönster, mm. which is fenster in German. Fenster, yeah. So we call it fönster now because we're... We've evolved from old Swedish. Yeah, we should have actually called it window, Vindöga. Still in Norway, they do. They call it Vindöga. Ah, oh, damn it. The Norway, Norwegian has beaten us. No, well, they, they did, or they just didn't evolve to German. That's kind of... <laughs> I, I love English. I yeah. love the English language. So I'm kind of happy that in the English, we... They, it stayed. They, yeah, like, yeah. They, in the English, they use the old uh, Scandinavian word for Vindöga, for yeah. window. Yeah. But sadly, in... Uh, in uh, Sweden, with the German influences, we, we call it fenster or fönster. Yeah, the fenster stuck. So yeah. uh, that's what we call it in Sweden. And in Norway, they say still uh, say vindöga. And also in uh, all English-speaking countries. Yeah, good job there, Englishman. Yeah, keep, keep, it, keep, keep it alive. Yeah, keeping the Swedish language alive. <laughs> Perfect. There's so many Swedish words in the English language. It's, it's like amazing. And the Vikings surely had something to do with this. It's to say almost English is Swedish, if you listen closely. <laughs> 